Welcome everyone, FarmerComp here. This is going to be a quick tutorial to teach you how to use the Meridian silos located in Farming Simulator 22 in the base game. So first off, let's talk about the Meridian silo and why it's a little different than other silos. You have to use belts to get stuff in here, or conveyor belts or conveyors to get stuff into this silo. So uh, you have to use specific ones. As far as I know, I haven't tested all of them, but these ones seem to work really well and they're designed for it. So uh, first off, let's take a look in the build mode here and take a look at these under construction, under silos. These are the Meridian silos. Why would you want them? Well. Look at the capacity. This is only 72,980,000 liters. This one for 147 is 800,000. This one's 1.1 million liters. That's the one I have placed out here. I can see that one's a little bit smaller. And again, you can rotate these smoothly like that when you place them. Now note, when you do rotate it smoothly, do you see that little pipe that's coming out there? Um, you can see it, let me just do this. That little pipe that's coming out right there. Um, you want that, that's gonna be your end point. So you wanna have room for a conveyor belt to be able to access that there. And then somewhere else you want room for a larger conveyor belt somewhere around it. You can use the same space if you wanted to, but I'll kind of show you what I mean and you'll think about that when you're placing them. Uh, but yeah, so yes, you do need to purchase these two conveyor belts or these two belts to go ahead and function with this. Now you might say, well, okay, well, I know that's cheaper, but at the same time you have to purchase these. So is it worth it? Absolutely. These two combined are $40,000 total. So I know it's a lot of money, but if you look here, this is 147,000 for 800,000 liters. For this 84,000 liter silo plus 40 grand, we're looking at 124,000. Not anywhere, or not even close to that one yet. And we get 1.1 million liters, so an extra 300,000. This one's also cheaper than that one. Um, so definitely worth it to take a look in doing this. So. Um, that's the silo. Now, where do you get these uh, conveyor belts here? Where do you get these guys? You're gonna buy them in the store again. So if we go into this menu here, we'll go up to um, this screen here, scroll down towards the bottom. Down at the very bottom, we have belt systems. Click on that. Scroll down to the end here. We need the Meridian TL1239, which is 14,500 to buy, and the Conveil 1690, 25,500. We're gonna use this one to take stuff out of the silo, and we're gonna use this one to place stuff into the silo. So that's kind of how it works. So we're gonna go ahead and get it set up first. So you can drive these things individually. If I hop into them, come up to them, I open up the help menu there, hit E. I can drive them, but they only drive at three miles an hour and no one really wants to do that. So the better way to do it is if you pick them up at the store and that one's already hooked up there, but you can hook them up to a trailer just like this or hook them up to a tractor just like this and you can tow them back to your farm. So it'd be a lot faster this way. Now I'm gonna get this guy set up where we need to be right here or at least close to there and I'll get this tractor out of the way. Now we hop in this guy, setting up this one. There's a couple options you have as far as moving it around. So again, I can turn it, drive what I need to do. That's actually forward there, so I'm backing up right now. Now this, this side here, that little kind of bucket side there, you want that under this pipe right here. You want it right there, because I can hit R to start filling if I wanted to from there. Um, you don't have to do it that way necessarily, but you have that there set up, so you know it's gonna be working later on. And I can hit left control I to unload onto the ground. Now if I hold down the left mouse button, I can go up and down on this. So you get as high as I need to, which if you look at this, we'll put it all the way up. Um, that is very high, by the way. And we'll put it back under there so it's all gonna work out. And then I can hop out. So that one is set up. Now let's set up the load function here. So this is the pipe or the convey all is what you're gonna use to load uh, the silo itself. So we're gonna drive this over just to the other side just to um, have it set up over here so it's not in the way of the other one. And I'm just gonna go ahead and dump that off right there. I'm gonna pull this guy just out of the way here. I'll just park them up on this field. Now, if I come back down to it, we're gonna hop in it here and we'll take a look at some of the options we have. So, E to hop in it. If I zoom way out so we can see a little bit more here, I can hit the left mouse button to raise and lower that side, which we want it pretty much all the way up. And we're gonna drive it now towards the silo here because we want that top pipe to be over the top of the silo. That's how we're gonna load it into the silos from the top. That's why we need this big old tall uh, auger wagon here or the big old tall uh, conveyor belt here. Now, if we hold the right mouse button, or excuse me, if we hold the left mouse button and go side to side, we'll be able to swing this around. So left mouse button up and down, raises and lowers it, side to side moves that. And that's where you're gonna dump into uh, when you wanna fill this. So I'm gonna go ahead and just put it off to the side there. And we're gonna get this. If we look over on this side, we wanna get this right over the top of that right there. So right, essentially right in that space right there, that will allow us to unload into there uh, when we unload. So, all right, this is all set up. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and put a quick break in here. I'm gonna grab a trailer that has some grain in it and we'll go ahead and load it into our silo and then take it back out. All right, so I'm driving over here with a load of wheat. If I get up over close to this guy right here. Let me back up to it here. Just like that, you'll get the eye for overloading. 
Now, if I unload it, you'll see that's go slowly going into there. And then we zoom way out. We can see it getting loaded into the silo at the top there. Now I know that the door's closed there, but you get the idea. It's going into that silo. It's doing what it's supposed to do. And once it's done unloading, we can drive over to the other side. And you can leave these in place. You don't have to move them or do anything like that. If you have the space, you can leave them in place if you want to make it easier. Now look, this trailer, though, this trailer isn't very big. Look how tall that is. You can get semi-trucks, anything under there. Now if I pull under there, up in the upper left-hand corner, you can see R to start filling. R, I can choose my wheat. And then... It's going to start filling into there. Now, if I get out, I love the animations. It's coming into there. The auger's working. And then it's coming back out there into this trailer here. You'll see it's loading up fairly quickly there. But in general, that's how you use this thing. It's very simple to do, very easy to do. Um, and it holds a lot of grain for you. So anyhow, I hope this guys helped. I hope this video helped you guys out. If it did, please drop a like down below. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button up on the screen to join the Farmer Cop channel and turn on your notification bell so you don't miss any future videos I may post. This has been Farmer Cop. Thank you guys for coming and watching.